All right. And here it. Oh my God. It's beautiful. It's just so gorgeous. Look, all you out here, I don't want to see a goddamn scratch on this machine. You understand me? Well, I have all your asses. You treat this like you treat your mother with respect. I'm excited and aroused right now. Cannot wait to look at this machine. I'm gonna get inside. Just like you know, I'm getting inside this thing. <sighs> all right. Let's go ahead and start it up. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with some basic information. I actually don't have much in terms of the height and weight on this. It seems a little bit more unknown. But I do have this information. It is a mass production, transformable, heavy armored, close quarter combat mobile suit. So, essentially this thing isn't really super long range. It does have long, long range equipment, but it does specialize in more close range or probably more mid range battles. The faction is the Vagans, uh, also known as the Unknown Enemies. Now we're rolling straight into the details, okay? I'm not gonna lie, there's not too much going on on the surface. Now I'm pretty sure on the inside there's a lot of juice, a lot of things happening, but when it comes to the surface level details, you're not getting much. A lot of this is going to be pretty smooth and rounded, but look, I'm not gonna complain. I think this is such a unique type of mobile suit, like I'm just all about it. I don't even care what the surface level details are. I just like the way the aesthetics are. Now we're not here to talk about aesthetics. I get that. We're here to talk about safety and we're talking about inspections, okay? But overall, details, I'm not seeing any concerns, no, no loose parts, nothing that is a concern of this mobile suit to perform its duties. Now let's talk articulation. Honestly, it's not too bad. I rather like it. It's just in the hips. Hips can probably use a little improvement, a little bit limited in their articulation, but overall for a transformable mobile suit that is 11 years old, it's rather really good, to be honest, and holds up against a lot of newer mobile suits that's been coming out in the recent years. So I'd say it suffices in that department. No safety concerns with that whatsoever. Now I think that's pretty much it. We can go ahead and start moving over to the test battlefield town and just look at all the armaments. Alright, let's go ahead and head out there. Alright guys, welcome out here. We're going to go ahead and do some uh, testing on the weapons. First thing we're going to take a look at is going to be the beam rifle, which is actually the tail. They just call it the beam rifle, but uh, the tail is the beam rifle. So, can go over the shoulder, underneath the shoulder, around the waist, whatever. Uh, but the tail can go over and shoot a long range beam projectile. We're also going to have the beam spikes. Those are going to be protruding from the chest. They can actually go and be uh, projectile weapons, but for the most part you're going to see those coming out as, uh, as spikes. Next we're going to have is going to be the beam vulcans and beam saber. It's going to be mounted in the hands, so those once again can be concentrated as a beam saber, or they can be just shot as beam projectiles. So, Whichever one that the pilot prefers, and that's why it's a close quarter combat because it does have the spikes in the chest and it has the concentrated beam uh, sabers in the hand. So whenever it's up close, it's doing some damage. One thing I wanted to mention is that it also has electromagnetic armor. So a lot of the beam weaponry, such as the age one normals, ugh, the age one normals dodge rifle, it's actually gonna be ineffective. Uh, I know Flit, who's the pilot of that mobile suit, he tried to hit it at a pretty close range and that shit didn't do anything. All right, and a Jedi Ace ain't gonna do anything. So, unfortunately, a lot of that beam weaponry is not gonna suffice. They're gonna need something that's more uh, dense, something like a Shiguru blade. I heard they're in the works of, of trying to develop that with all the data that the Age One Normal, the Age system, has collected. So, uh, maybe in the future we can get a, a good safety inspection on that Shigura blade and the overall mobile suit uh, if they do decide to give it new wares. I'd like to take a look at it or any other mobile suit in, uh, in that little faction that has a Shigura blade. I think, I think it'd be pretty cool. So I just want to mention the, uh, the armor. Alright guys, so we're pretty much done. Let's go ahead and head back to the hangar and we'll do an outbrief. Alright everyone, so thank you for coming out. 
Overall, the inspection went phenomenal. The mobile suit looks great and it operates extremely well. The hips is the only thing that can use a little bit of tuning up so that we can have a bigger range of movement. Otherwise, I think it's still just safe to say that it is up to safety standards. So I have no issues with it. The vegan user can go ahead and execute, bring it back out. Um, I hope they don't touch my boy, the age one normal. Uh, Flit's been doing a pretty good job out there. Uh, but I know, hey, we don't have any, we don't have any affiliation with any faction, all right? We're like Yellow Hat. We take your vehicle in, we just tune it up, check it out, you go on your way. I don't care about the making models. Same thing with these mobile suits, don't care where they came from, we're here to do a job. And with, I think we're doing our job extremely well, considering business is booming, all right? So thank you all for coming out. I do hope that you learned a little bit of something. And uh, I'll go ahead and see y'all on the uh, next inspection, all right? See y'all guys later.